Welcome to Kicks Gaming. This is Papa Kicks. Someone asked for help making a list for their maze runs. I'm Batman. So I wanted to take this opportunity to show you a tool I created to help people create their own lists. I sent them the link to the website and had them fill out the assist mode. Here they can select the hunters that they do not have. That way, when I create the list for them, I don't pick any hunters that they don't have. This makes it easy to make custom lists for newer players. Once they finished, they click copy and send it back to me. I can now open their link and see exactly what hunters they have. And now we can make our list. I recently realized it's easier to do this top down if they have enough hunters to pick from, since the low floors can be cleared by almost any hunter. So let's start with the hardest floor. In Maze, that is 19. It has no healing, which means our life drain gear is disabled. There are several hunters that work great on no heal floors. But the one with the highest DPS is Mad Doctor. He debuffs the boss and allows you to deal insane amounts of damage and poison. And because he throws over walls, he can avoid getting hit. The next no heal floor is 15. Necro is a great choice for this. When you have max improved minions, they slow the target, allowing you to DPS the boss while running and hiding. It makes for an easy win. The next one is floor 10. Raging Orc works well here. Make sure you pick up defensive perks whenever you can, dodge and damage reduction. But more rage is your top priority. The last no heal floor is 6. I like to use the slow strategy, so that would be protector or snowman. It works great. Click here to see how the slow strategy works. Another strategy is using a throwing hunter to go over walls. The best DPS, other than Mad Doctor, is Bunny with many hits per throw. Now we go back to the top. Floors 16 to 20 are the most difficult, obviously. We want high DPS hunters, hunters with death strike, hunters that do well even at level 1. We'll take Phantom, Ancient One, and Plague Doctor for 16, 17, and 18. And for 20, we can use Turtle. Even a low level Turtle can solo 20. So now we jump down to 11 to 14. The next thing to look out for is floors with 200% HP. So ideally we want hard hitting hunters, preferably with Death Strike. We're basically going from highest to lowest DPS as we work our way down. The weakness hunters like Ripper and Void Knight deal massive DPS. Gentleman is a force to be reckoned with, and wait until you see him awakened. Engineer can really shred the enemies. This person has so many good hunters that a lot of what we're doing now is overkill. I often use some of these hunters much later in runs, but as long as it works, we're good to go. So we'll bring Mech on 9, Grey Wolf on 8, and Skullmaster on 7. At this point, we can literally bring any hunter and we would still win. But this player's gear score is low, so we'll still want to use good hunters. Thor with tentacles is crazy damage, so we'll put him on 5. 4 is the last tricky floor. It has 50% reduced XP, so we level half as fast as normal. With strong gear, it can be ignored, but we still want good hunters that work without needing lots of levels. Ninja is a great choice for this. Spider Queen can deal some crazy damage with enough multi-shots, so we're going to put her on 3. Pirate and Axe Master are the best ranged melee hunters. What does that mean? They need to get in close to do their best damage, so you play them like a melee hunter, even though they are ranged. They will do very quick work on these low floors. And lastly is Hammerdick. He also has great DPS. And that's our list. Easy, right? Now we can click on the copy link button. This will let us share it to our friend in a text message, discord, wherever. When that player clicks on the list, it will open just as you left it. They can use it as is and see the debuffs they will need to look out for, or they can use view mode to have bigger icons and take up less space. When you paste the link in Discord, it will show what dungeon and gear score it was designed for. It can support one or two players. Having two people bringing complementary hunters is a fantastic way to speed up your runs. You can share the link with anyone, and once they click on it, they can make edits and send it back to you or share it with someone else. The official Discord also lets you share the list directly. It does not block the URL, unlike other websites. So we appreciate the HR staff for letting us do that with our tool. I want to thank my patrons and YouTube members. They make this video and this tool possible with their support. Special thanks to Titanic Folly for inspiring me to put this video together. 
and thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Maybe. Papa kicks out.